can see we've thrown cardboard and, and, and waste. It's, this is how we're just lining. It's like Hugel culture. We're just lining the, the garden beds like this. And we'll um, continue to do this slowly. And see in the other garden bed we've got a broccoli you may have noticed from the other one it's doing well little ones growing through but when you don't have much Sun I don't know we'll see what happens this should be getting <coughs> a look. Yeah, it's something starting to happen there that should have a nice head of broccoli when I next do an allotment tour like this is early June so the next one will be early July there's another baby broccoli where's the other one there's another one then we've got this one which is smaller than the other one like I want them coming out at different times but still no onion I don't know what happened it could it look it might just be the unseasonally cold weather lack of Sun rain not warming up it might think it was middle of winter already or something so we'll see here we go all the uh, spinach perennial spinach popping up here but honestly not doing a lot I mean you really need the Sun and the little uh, flowers that I've planted seeds just so I can get a nice row thick row of pollinators so I can track the bees to there and then they'll be like hey look at that there's also something else our um, garlic doing okay look honestly a lot of these plants I really they're not doing as well as they should but that's what you get when you have you know the last say the last 20 plus days I don't think there's been one day of full Sun we've had one to three hours of sun the rest has been cloudy and some's been rain it's just not enough sun so this is normal 10 degrees that's doing all right always check the pH just see where it is well interesting this garden bed would be a great place to grow blueberries but I like blueberries in the ground because once you put your blueberries in that's it they're there they're never coming out over here we've got a garlic do we oh what do we have here slug I've never seen a slug on these before so these are doing, they're doing well, they look happy. The only problem with some is, look at that, we've got three right next to each other. So let's go over here. <coughs> These are doing really well. Uh, I put some seeds. These are growing as well. And over here we've got our spinach. Is it any popping up? That one. And I can see one over there. This is uh, onion, I think brown. I've let this start to go to seed. Bit of broccoli still on it. Little bit on this, I'll probably get rid of this soon to allow more sun to get to these ones. I, I put seeds here. So we've got one, two, three, four. A bit close together, but anyway. <laughs> Now there's nothing back here in this third. This I've got prepared for, I was going to put peanuts, grow peanuts in here. Um, and I've put in 24 peanut seeds in my seed tray. And I thought I'd probably put in maybe about a dozen or so, maybe a dozen in here, but only one's popped up. So if that doesn't happen, then I might change this and put rhubarb here. 
got my pollinators here doing really well. Got our garlic. Garlic. I'd say, well, I don't know when it'll be ready. Maybe six to eight weeks would be my guess. Beans climbing. <laughs> oh. Tomato. Ah, oh, yeah, looking good. See, it's nicely pruned. Might cut this. I may cut this one off. We'll see. Oh, that's a big. Wow, well, lucky that didn't land on stuff I'm growing. Red shallots. Another tomato plant. Again, doing well. Let's just, I will start here since we're here. Tomatoes, these are stuck. Hey, get off. I'm wondering if I should maybe put a net on this. Like these are. Huge, like look at the size of these. They're massive. But I am noticing what looks like some little fruit flies hanging about. So which I haven't seen until right now. Interesting. Let's go back here. Another one. Off you get. Huge man. And it goes. Oop. These are determinates, so it's about as big as they're gonna get. Back here, we just got a few shallots, which we cut for soups as well. Not these ones, but I've got others. Here's beans, doing well. We've got some back here, starting to, oh, those will be ready to pick. Grain all the way up, and I've just recently erected two more of these for other beans. These, these are just popping up today. You can see them. So there's a row there, row there, two different types. I've got more of these and flowering, so we'll get seeds. That'll be interesting. Garlic, getting closer to being ready. Uh, I've already picked a lot of tomatoes today. Still some left, but they're not ready. Plenty of beans growing on this vine. On this vine, on this trellis. New ones popping up. I've got to pick some of those tonight. More here growing. More. And we've got new tomatoes here. Got a German Johnson here. These ones from memory, Thai pink egg. We've got more. This is the Thai pink egg um, tomato. Doing well. Lots starting to grow on here. Behind, we've got three more. This one. I can't remember if this is the the big bird or I had it labelled but I can't find it. These are doing really well. And then we've got some beans here. It's starting to fall over actually. Let's have a look. Let's bring this out a little. Ugh protect it so plenty of beans going all the way along there we've got this other row starting to climb flowering this one's an old one which is still producing but i'm also leaving beans on here to dry out and so i can collect seeds i've already collected quite a few seeds but nothing wrong with more some capsicum back here. 
I don't think this one's going to do much. That one's doing, that's getting some sun, but it's actually getting blocked, which I knew, but this was an experiment. Chives. Capsicum. Some beans. They popped up. They're like really taking off. Some uh, climbing red spinach. <coughs> Nothing popped up yet, but this is garlic. I don't know when I put the garlic in. Got our chives, beans, it's uh, broad beans, but then some seeds that I missed have popped up randomly. I'll just let them do their thing. And we've got our snow peas mammoth. Last season I planted nine and it was nuts, so this time I've just done five. It's starting to attach itself, themselves, so that's good. We've got our climbing red spinach. I've never grown before. Seems to be okay. And we've got a section here of garlic. All popped up, all looking pretty happy. Over here in this bed at the back, we've got this trellis I've set up with three snow peas. We've got one good size, and then these two I sowed um, maybe three, four weeks later. And the rest of this garden bed is our uh, red shallots, doing, doing fine. 